Wow, after speculations that Lil Huddy cheated on Charlie D'Amelio, the two have officially broken up. Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Diamond Steph, and you guys, Chase Hudson, aka Lil Huddy, and Charlie D'Amelio just confirmed that the two of them have broken up. Hold on, my feet are freezing, I gotta put socks on. Okay, that's better. And this is really big news because about a month ago, Joss Richards and Bryce Hall dropped a diss track on Chase, calling him out for cheating on Charlie. So I'm gonna show you the two Instagram stories that Chase and Charlie put on their Instagram stories, which confirmed their breakup. But before I do, I wanna give you a little bit of context to show what led up to this point. So like I said, a diss track was dropped on Chase and it was alleged that he sent Nessa a picture of a small baby carrot. And after this, some real juicy ground beef was brought up. Now I'm, now I'm hungry. So since then, people have been doing their own little detective work and trying to figure out the relationship between Chase and Charlie to see if he really did cheat on her. Now, what's really weird is that judging by their Instagram pictures and the TikToks that they made with each other, they really do look like they were official. But according to Chase, for the longest time, he claimed that the two were never official to begin with. So I'm gonna show you guys a video from The Hollywood Fix back in January where the interviewer asked the two of them if they are official and if they are dating. And I want you to look how the two of them respond. Everybody wants to know about you guys dating and, and you guys are kind of like not really saying it but it's official now you guys are not, a couple. not officially dating, but it's a thing at the moment it's yeah, yeah yeah i mean well so chase immediately cuts the interviewer off and said that the two are not dating i thought they're not official but did you see the way that charlie reacted she said yes with a big smile and right after chase denies it she's looking real awkward and loses her smile the interviewer then asked why chase unfollowed bryce on instagram and take a look what happens so let me ask you something a lot of people are wanting to know why you uh unfollowed Bryce Hall. Uh, it's, no. Okay. Chase, let's just walk through here. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. I mean, if you ask me, that looks real fishy. Now, let's fast forward a month later into February on a video from Entertainment Tonight where Chase is asked if him and Charlie are dating. Not officially. It's exclusive. We're not talking to anyone else. We really like each other. We just don't want to put a label on it yet. I want to, I told her I want to take my time and make sure everything's right for me before I make it official. Take his time and make sure everything's right for him? What does that even mean? I mean, that just sounds really suspicious. I mean, judging by these pictures, the two of them looked a lot more than just friends. Now, if you ask me, I personally think that the reason that Chase was so hesitant, you know, to put a label on this and make this official was that because he wanted to explore his options. And in other words, basically what I'm trying to say is that while Charlie had feelings for him and you know, they had their little wheels going on, I think he was trying to get with other girls. And it would make a lot of sense because that's why he was trying to slide into Nessa's DMs. And that's why him and Charlie broke up. And I'm just saying at that age, if you're dating someone that's two years younger than you, it's for one of two reasons. Either A, you have a tiny ass wiener down there and can't get girls your own age, or B, well, you're using the girl. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the Instagram stories, which the two posted that confirmed their breakup. But just before I do, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so around midnight on April 14th, Charlie posted this onto her Instagram story. Hey guys, since you guys have watched mine and Chase's relationship from the start, I decided I need to tell you all that we are no longer together. It hurts me to say this, but we've decided that this is what's best for the both of us. We are still close friends and I would not change that for anything. I truly have so much love for Chase and wish nothing but the best for him. It makes me so happy to see all of the great things he has going for him. I'm sorry I waited so long to tell you all. I wanted to take time to process it for myself. Breakups are tough for anyone, so I'd really rather not talk about it anymore. Charlie. And just after she posted that, Chase put this onto his Instagram. Hi everyone, Charlie and I wanted to share with you all that while we will always have love for each other, we are no longer together. Charlie is such an amazing person. I am so beyond grateful and blessed to have spent the time I spent with her. We will always be friends and she will always hold a special place in my heart for the rest of my life. We are sorry it's taken so long to come forward, but this was something we wanted to process privately first. It has been incredibly hard for both of us, so please respect our privacy as we both start this new chapter. Chase. Yeah, so based off of those, I mean, the two are officially broken up and have been for some time because like they said, they wanted to process this privately first before officially announcing it. And yeah, it is kind of sad the two broke up because on camera, you know, they did look really happy and cute with each other. But I mean, that's just on camera. and We really don't know what happened, what went down off camera. So we don't know exactly why the two of them broke up, but based off of evidence of Chase cheating on her and, you know, not wanting to put a label on their relationship. I mean, it's really leaning towards a specific direction. And in late March, Charlie liked a bunch of breakup tweets on Twitter. And if you 
read them, I mean they're looking pretty bad on Chase's end. I never told you how much you hurt me. I want you to love me the way I love you. Yeah, so my opinion still stands. I have my own personal theory on why I think the two of them broke up, but I don't wanna know what you guys think, so leave a comment down below. Let me know why you think Chase and Charlie broke up. Now, regardless of what happened, the two of them are handling this very maturely, and you know, I do respect them for that. But if Chase really did cheat on Charlie, you know, I lose all my respect for him. Personally, you know, I've, I've had some shitty relationships in the past, and I have trust issues myself when it comes to relationships and you know if chase did cheat on charlie i really don't respect him for that anyway guys so that's gonna do it for this video i really hope that you did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already also make sure to follow me on my social media my instagram is ivan steph official my tiktok is ivan steph official my twitter is ivan steph and my snapchat is shock underscore u09 also i'm currently working on a really big conspiracy video which is going to be looking at the dark side of tiktok this will be one of my biggest and most entertaining videos yet so stick around for that but anyway guys until next Next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Who ready for this hobby? Claim you don't love me yet, I'm always.